Hey guys, so welcome back to another Roblox Events video. Today we have got something very interesting to play. It's like a collab between two Roblox events. So Gucci Town and Vans World have decided to make an event which is like linked together. It's very interesting. There's two prizes, so like one prize from each event. It's honestly very easy and kind of fun. So yeah, let me show you the prizes. So the first prize we will get is this, the Vans Obstacle Skate Pack. I kind of like it. Is that like a, oh, it's a Vans Backpack with with a Gucci skateboard, I think. Obviously, when you wear it on your avatar, you don't really see the text on the skateboard. But yeah, for a free accessory, I think that's very good. If you guys want a backpack for free, pretty much fits all types of avatars, including R6, then yeah, I'll show you how to get this one. It's very nice. The second free accessory isn't so nice. Well, in my opinion, anyway. It's kind of like these really ugly Vans Gucci shoes. Yeah, I don't know who would wear this. I mean, people that wear Gucci wouldn't really wear Vans, would they? But whatever. So it's kind of like a neck accessory shoes thing. I think we had this before with like Lil Nas X. But yeah, these accessories, I don't like them, but I'll show you how to get it anyway. We will be playing Vans World, but we're going to start off in Gucci Town, as you can see the Vans World update. I think they had a picture of what it looks like. Yeah, there you go. So you have to like get keys and then unlock the free accessories. Let's go and join a server and I'll show you what to do. So here we are in the game. Obviously, it's going to come up telling you about the new scavenger hunt. And yeah, all you guys want to do is follow my Robux character. So we are going to start off by collecting the first piece of the scavenger hunt. There is five in total and the first one is a white Vans shoe. So as you can see, find the items over there on the left hand side. The second piece I found, I don't really know what this is, like skateboard grip or material, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, you want to carry on going in this direction because all of these sort of like pieces are very, very close together. They're pretty easy to find. This should take you like one minute. So yeah, the other one I found, this one was number three. This was behind this old like vintage looking computer, probably like Windows 95 or something. The second one I found, um, there was actually one right there, but I didn't notice it while I was recording because the shoe kind of like glitched up in a way. I don't really know why, but yeah, the shoe kind of flipped on its side. But whatever, right? I also found one next to this blue sort of building. So there you go. It's another sort of material, I don't know, roll of material, whatever. And yeah, the final one, like I was saying, guys, it was supposed to be inside of this shoe. And I don't know why for me, the shoe sort of did a 360 flip and landed on its side. I don't know. But it's like this cone looking thing. Thing. I don't know what it is, but go and collect it. Then the scavenger hunt should be done. Now, once the scavenger hunt is done, guys, it will tell you to go over to the van's portal. So obviously you can go over to it. Yeah, that's the cool thing about this event. It kind of like collabs like vans and Gucci together. I really like this idea, actually. It's very nice. It gives us something to do. So what we're going to do is go inside of the van's world portal and it's going to teleport us into one of my favorite Roblox events, the van's world event. Favorite sponsored events anyway. So we've got to find all of these items. Now, I would say this one's maybe a little bit more tricky than the Gucci one. You guys just want to follow where I'm going. I just started off going here on the right. The only reason why it's a little bit more tricky is because you need to use your skateboard. Press T to equip it, by the way. And you basically need to look for these sort of beams going up in the sky. And that's where the items are going to be. So we can see this one. This was the one I found straight away. It was kind of down here on like this building. I jumped off to uh, go and get it. And it was on top of this ramp. So be a bit careful on your skateboard because sometimes it's easy to fall off but I went and collected it. It was more of that material stuff. Then I actually clicked on the home button and this time I would recommend going over to the left. So at the start, we went to the right. This time we're going to go over to the left track. You want to grind up the rail there and yeah, you just want to carry on going in a straight line basically. You're going to go this way. You need to go over all of these buildings and stuff like that and you should see it in the distance now. Go over this like Chinese sort of building. Then you're going to find it on the ramp. So go and collect it. My character did a few flips. There you go. That is now two out of five. So for the next one, I realized it was on top of this massive Vans factory looking building. And to get this, I was kind of trying to figure out how to get up there. But finally, I found out if you just go on top of this skate park bit and just go up the rail to the side here, then if you just carry on going and you should get to a billboard, you just want to go ahead and climb up this. Then just go and climb up the second set of stairs. Yeah, with this one, it's mostly like climbing. Obviously, dismount your skateboard to go and climb these. And once you're at the top, guys, you should eventually see it on the ramp. So you want to go, you want to jump up, go and click that. That should now be three out of five. And again, I'm going to go and click on the home button. Now this one we missed earlier because we had to jump down to get on that roof. But if you carried on going and used a super boost to get up the ramp, then you would have been able to find another one. The reason why we have to go on the uh, right side twice is because, yeah, like I said, they're kind of in two different directions. Well, I'm about to show you. So just carry on going up these grind wells and you will find this sort of 
super boost. Now, if you go on this, press spacebar to jump up the ramp, you should be able to get onto this roof. And as you guys can see, at the very end, it has one of the pieces, some more materials. So guess what? We're going to collect it. This one's going to be number four out of five. Now, if you guys get on your skateboard here and you just want to like jump off the roof, I can't believe you survived this. If this was GTA, we would definitely be dead. But yeah, it's kind of funny. So now we want to work our way towards these beach sort of houses, basically the buildings which are built near the beach. And if you guys just go through the car park here, you're going to find some ramps. And pretty much, guys, you want to go up all of these ramps to get on the roof. And that is how you find the final piece. So honestly, this was pretty easy. So let's just go. Let's just jump off this ramp. Let's go and collect this thing. Now we have five out of five. Let's go. We did it. So it's going to do a pretty cool animation. It's going to give you a key. And we need to use this key to unlock the UGC cabinet. So we're going to click on OK. We're going to click on the home button at the top of the page here teleport home so yeah every time you teleport home you will need to skate up a little bit but it's pretty simple so then guys we're going to go to the top we are going to open the ugc and we get a skateboard with a backpack which is very nice a vans x gucci item which is pretty awesome now we need to go in the teleporter and we need to go back to the gucci town that's what it was called right gucci town yeah i think so so we're just going to go and teleport there now the final stage guys is very easy we don't really have to do a lot here we basically need to go to the gucci shop and we need to use our key to to open the cabinet and this is going to give us some shoes we have had accessories like this in the past and they're kind of like shoes which go around your avatar's neck so yeah i'm not really a fan of these shoes they always look a bit strange it's like lead clothing as a neck accessory but i don't know you guys want to collect it and there you go now we are done hey let's go we completed it we got the shoes we got the backpack we are done also if you guys want the cursed graffiti trendy hats it's nearly ran out there's only a few left in stock so i'll link it down below and yeah that's it for this video so see you guys.